the first daughter took some heat for counter-protesting the Goya boycott by posing with products and posting it online. So, of course, you know, her dad could not be outdone, and he followed it up with a whole photo shoot of Goya products in the Oval Office. Right off the bat, <laughs> is this a problem? Mm -hmm. Aren't you not supposed to be... Isn't this like a violation, an ethics violation, Sonny? Yes. <laughs> it's a federal um, ethics okay. violation. It's just clear cut, clear and simple, right? That, that's, that's the first thing. It's just shocking that she, as the president's advisor, a position she really shouldn't hold because she is the president's daughter and she's unqualified to, to hold that position, that she doesn't know better. She's always so out of step. Uh, with the country and, and with the public. And I, I think what is so disappointing is that when Ivanka was placed in, in the White House, however inappropriately, so many people saw her as someone that would normalize this president, as someone uh, who would somehow benefit working moms, who would somehow do the right thing and normalize him. But also, after doing this, she also, you know, unrolled this new do something, try something new campaign. Mm -hmm. We know that there are 18 million wor Americans out of work. And if you go onto this website, she's touting these new jobs like contact tracer, which of course we need because of her father's mishandling of the pandemic. She's also touting mm -hmm. uh, wind turbine technician, something that her father n <laughs> never thought was a good thing. Um, and, and so right, just the, the, right. the sheer thought that she's so out of step with this country is, is really right. shocking to me. And now she's a, a rule but this violator, is, an ethical uh, rule violator. Right, but so this is against, I just want to make sure I understand, this was against, this is against the law. It's in the books, you're not supposed to do it, right? It's just, it says it, Even don't I do it. No that, question. And I'm not doing it. Plain Even and I simple. I know that. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what to ask you, Let's except I'll say, what do you think about, about all this? Let me talk about, I want to talk about the photo op, because, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands, okay. as Sunny just pointed out, that millions of people are losing their jobs, hundreds of thousands of Americans are dead and dying, uh, Florida's running out of hospital beds, and he's posing with a can of beans, okay? I'd like to ask the Trump supporters... Have we made America great yet? Also, Ivanka wants to find something new. We will on November 3rd, my dear. And whoever believes that <laughs> Ivanka ever bought a can of Goya beans, I'd like to know who thinks that Princess Ivanka yeah. goes shopping and buys Goya products. Get over yourself. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so, <thank you>. oh. <laughs> and by the way, you were going um, to ask me about yes. boycotting, right? So I want to point out why yes. boycotting is very important. Because we would not, we would still have apartheid, for example, in South Africa now if other countries, including the United States, mm -hmm. did not boycott South Africa. Uh, the Cesar Chavez boycotting non-union farmers led to a formation of the United Farmers Worker, Farm Workers Union. Uh, the Montgomery right. bus boycott. Boycotts are extremely, extremely effective. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Megan, what's your take on all <laughs> on all this yeah. Goya, the boycott, <laughs> the the law breaking? Well, all the examples Joy just gave are examples of um, ideological boycotts and not corporate boycotts, and they're actually two very different things. And I want to use the example of Chick-fil-A in 2018, which was boycotted, um, I believe, for giving money to anti-gay marriage legislation, and they actually ended up completely surging in their company. They had a 17% sale uh, increase in their uh, corporation over that year, and they became the third most powerful and uh, most frequented fast food chain behind McDonald's and Starbucks. So that was an example of conservatives doing a hashtag boycott. And I tweeted a few days ago that, um, you know, I hate politics when it comes down to bottom line workers. And the Goya company employs 4,000 workers. They actually just committed to giving 2 million pounds of food to uh, from Goya products to people in need who have been impacted by COVID. And I think sometimes when um, executives do things and say things, um, you know, you don't think 
think about like the bottom line worker and Joy you just said people are out of jobs I don't want anyone else to be out of a job and I certainly don't want anyone working at the Goya company to lose their job over this that being said I don't think that's going to happen because I think Republicans and conservatives are going to do a hashtag uh, boycott and I do think what's interesting to me is and I think I've said this on the show before is if I only bought and consumed entertainment and products that agreed with me politically I would only be eating Chick-fil-a uh, even though I, I was a proponent of gay marriage and um, I would only be watching Tim Allen movies so I, I think it's interesting who can really live consuming every product you can in every way by whatever CEO agrees with you or disagrees with you and there's probably something every CEO well, of every company in corporate America I'm still talking joy um, disagrees with or you agree with and I do think I there's you. a big difference between the apartheid <laughs> in South Africa and the Goya products that being said the picture of Ivanka Trump holding it is just creepy and it I think it was a huge misfire on her part because first of all who cooks Mexican food or Hispanic food or opens up beans in an all-white outfit and second of all why does it look like the movie get out like it's a weird like you're in a white background like there's nothing about it that looks you natural. know why it looks so like if that she had, but if she had been cooking with the <laughs> product still or showing that she used it Joy, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be so snippy with She's me today, talking. Joy. You really don't. I'm talking because I'm paid to talk and it's my job. And that's what I'm doing, Joy. And if you have a problem with it, I don't have oh, to come okay. to work today. So, Whoopi, what I was going well, to say that was about boycotting really, is that it also, yes, yes. It also fl puts a light on the situation, which can raise people's consciousness. It's not exactly <clears throat> only economical. Mm -hmm. Some of it yeah. is philosophical. I, I do I, that's all point I have out. to say. And can I can I add to the boycott I, I, conversation I, in the sense that sure what, sure what I always think is odd is that well, you know now that you have people boycotting Goya uh, using their their money to speak conservatives and Republicans seem to have a problem with it but I saw Ted Cruz and a lot of Republicans and conservatives trying to boycott Nike when uh, we, there was the kerfuffle over uh, Colin too. Kaepernick and, and, and conservatives were burning up Nike shoes uh, and, 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 and ripping them apart and throwing them on fire um, and that wasn't problematic but this somehow is problematic and I, I don't think you can right. um, you know I, I, this, this, I was against this, that too this, by this the way. kind of hypocrisy is really problematic right. I'm not a hypocrite I was against well, that too. One of the interesting things no, no, one of the interesting things about the Chick-fil-A boycott was you, I don't know if, who was on the show when the gentleman who uh, owned Chick-fil-A came on and we had a good conversation about his realization that he can be against something. But when he's speaking, when he's out speaking and he's speaking as the CEO of the company, it changes the meaning. And so he understood that and was really clear, wrote, uh, a really nice, uh, I believe it was uh, some something in the newspaper about the difference between speaking for yourself and how you personally feel and how not to speak for your company and everyone in it. So I think I think people mm. can boycott because you know people have the right to say I don't like this and people don't think they are heard. And boycotting is one way people can be heard. And yeah, sometimes, you know, you're right. mad and you want to boycott this, and sometimes you're mad and you want to boycott this. Boycotts work, and, you know, it's tough. And yeah, they may not work the way you want them to, but they do work.